If you're anything like me, you might find food a very complex topic. What should we be eating? What should we not be eating? What's in a food label? Well, I'm delighted today to be joined by certified holistic nutritionist Karen Langston, who joins us today from Phoenix, Arizona. Now, Karen's promised to hold us by the hand and walk us through the supermarket, guiding us as to a few simple things that we should bear in mind when we're choosing our foods to eat a more healthy and balanced diet. So thank you for joining us today, Karen. It's lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Harry. I'm so glad to be here. Thanks so much for the opportunity. That's great. Well, we want to go to some basics today and simply ask you, how do people go about choosing food that's good for them? I think the number one thing to do is to shop on the outside of the grocery store. So what do you find on the outside? Do you know? Um, uh, uh, the sign that says the name of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So once we come inside and then we're on the outside, what do you think is around there? What's the first thing you should see when you walk into a grocery store? Well, some signage, I suppose, to tell you where the fruit is and the meat and that sort of thing. Very good. That's right. Yay. So that is what's around the outside is your produce and your meat. And so all of the, the stuff that we really want to avoid is in between the aisles, of course, except for the, the tissue paper and the toilet paper, right? Yes, that's true. <laughs> down that aisle once in a while. So I just really believe that we need to get back to whole foods. And so we should start by filling up our basket with lots of um, vegetables and fruits, you know, those kinds of things, and then move on to the meat department. And then if there's that odd thing that you need, um, you know, a can or jar. So when we're looking at things that are in a can or a jar, to me, this is number two, is we need to read the label. And I find that a lot of us, we are, um, we believe that we're supposed to read the top of the label, which tells us the percentage, our fats, our sugars, that kind of thing. I really say don't read that. What you're interested in is that the very bottom of it is those long list of ingredients. And if you can't spell them, or if you can't pronounce them, mm -hmm. or you don't understand what they are, why would you put them in your body? There is that. I mean, I think it can be quite baffling when I try and read labels, and, and I'm not an expert at what to look for in food. There are so many complicated names, I have no idea what they are. So I'd have to really come home and Google it on the internet, I think. And all so many foods seem to have them, it seems. Absolutely. And we, we, we believe that, oh, well, it's in there, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But like you said, once you start Googling, it's almost like you're watching a horror picture show because a lot of these, are they're man-made synthetic chemicals. We don't know what they are, and we don't know the long-term effects in our body. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, I'll give you an example. My daughter was probably six or seven years old, and we were in the grocery store, grocery store okay. and she was about two aisles over, and I hear, Mom, can I have this? <laughs> Dead silence. Yeah. Never mind. And it was because I taught her, if you can pronounce what's on the label, oh, you can do it. <laughs> that's really good advice. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I don't know that. what it was. I yeah. never did get to see it. But. <laughs> but you knew it wasn't good for her or you. So it got left behind. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, we used to, we used to buy um, ice cream. There's a, um, a really popular one here called Briars until they went into all these different flavors. But at one time, they were very natural. Mm -hmm. And at six years old, she could pronounce all the names on the back. So that was something we could get. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so really, if you, if you get the, the fruit, obviously that doesn't have labeling, and the meats, the fresh meats and so on do, but then you, do, you also get packaged meats as well, though, don't you? So is that likely to contain things that we right. should be touching? Right, that's... I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So again, so we're talking about like our deli meats, our, our uh, luncheon meats is another word for it. Okay. And so uh, what we really want to be avoiding on there are nitrites and nitrates. Okay. Basically, they are for preserving the meat. Um, so they're, they're antifungals, uh, antibacterial, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is when we bring those into our body, they mix with our stomach acid and they become nitrosamines, which is a cancer-causing agent. Right. So they are one of the worst things that we can bring into our body. Plus, you'll notice that there's other uh, preservatives on in there and um, tons and tons of sugar, too. So okay. I don't know why you need sugar in your meat, but... <laughs> it's it's um, very confusing, that, but we, shouldn't be, we obviously shouldn't be eating sugar with our meats. Yeah, so, absolutely. Okay. It's unnecessary. 
Yeah. So really, if you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your food. Um, go for fresh produce only if possible. And um, if in doubt, come home and Google it and find out what all the different ingredients are so that you're much wiser, I suppose, next time you go in. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's a good idea. I'm glad that you mentioned that about Googling. <laughs> well, it's always our friend, isn't it, Google? <laughs> well, thanks so much for that, Karen. I think it's been given you know, a good overview of what to look out for when you go in the supermarket. If people want to find out more about you, where can they find you? They can go right to my website, karenlangston.com. And it's just my name, K-A-R-E-N dot L-A-N-G-S-T-O-N. Or sorry, Karen l-a-n-g-s-t-o-n dot com <laughs> okay <laughs> fantastic thanks so much for joining us today Thank and you. Well, i'm sure we'll be covering more ground with you in the near future so please yeah, stay tuned. awesome thank you very much fantastic. thanks so much so that was karen langston joining us today from phoenix arizona and how incredibly useful was that how to navigate the supermarkets and what to look for but if you've got any further burning issues about nutrition please contact me Harriet, H-A-R-R-I-E-T-T at wellbeingexaminer.com and I'll have another chat with Karen and see if we can put together another video that answers your questions. And in the meantime, remember to stay happy, healthy, single mums. <laughs> <laughs>